Hello everyone. Now my dad, a few two weeks ago I think, got two finals on H M on the H M P store for thirty pounds. Now this is kind of resembling. Now I did not know what these were. I don't know how I probably guess. Ah, oh, this was the one I probably would have guessed. It's um <laughs> that. Okay, so. I think I might get more of these during a uh, quote unquote lockdown, but not this week, but the week after it, and then it'll be back to shops. Nice straight, making movies. So, even so, Dash Straits, if you don't know, of a rock band from England who formed in 1977 and lasted up until 1967, 87, like 10 years, and then they performed for around about like 1990. To 1993, and a cool and um, this was their third album in 1980. Now, even though this isn't the best, what the best will see, Die Straight album, probably that would it. For it's not, this is my dad's favorite, even owning a copy of CD, which is currently in his cup because he's a doctor. So, yeah. You get the back, which isn't any importance, but it has. Very boy, I'm 60, you might like this. Oh, I mean, you don't like this, but. Barcodes. Ruins of vinyl, as you say. Now, let's see. Oh, the colors stay. We get the sleeve. Now, I have a question. Is this. What's this? In there, I would show you. I want to know. So the songs are Tom of Love uh, and Romeo and Juliet Skate Away. In special love, hand in hand, solid rock and let's boys. And the final is uh, the Gero record label. Like, I haven't heard of them. I don't know who they're owned by, but it definitely is universal. Oh, yeah, I remember. Wait, we forgot something. So, it's out here because I was trying to coat this in, but I don't have to burn it because cause my dad owns a CD and oh, I'm sorry, I'm use it. the code for Back in Black, and you get this, Back in Black is basically universal things, when the vinyl revolution happened, the sort of added codes, everyone, you know, if you found a vinyl now, you probably have them have a code in it. This is because of living in the digital age, so you give it with it. Probably it's good. I'm digital, but like probably my friends might own like who just are digital but want to be a fine collector like me. This might be handy for them to get it on their like digitally on the go on their phones, and then for the best sound to get the vinyl one. That's cool. Yeah. So remember to like, to subscribe, ring that notification bell, not too hard, share and comment down below about the question and also what albums you think I should get. And that is me. Checking out hashtag keep that disc spinning.